Hey, how's it going? I think today we're going to do a little stir frying. I was looking at the grocery store ads and it looked like we had pork, country style pork ribs on sale. $1.40 something a pound. Can't beat that. So I think we're going to fire up the old wok, stir fry that, some good veggies, see what's on sale. I think they might have some bok choy. And I'm thinking for a sauce, something with a chili citrusy flavor. So anyway, I'm going to have a few drinks, fire up and do a little cooking. So grab a beer, come on and enjoy the show with me. Welcome to CWI. Okay, um, we got some uh, uh, country spare ribs. Most of these have been pretty boneless so far. Uh, about two pounds, pound and a half, pound and three quarters. Anyway, just cutting them up into small cubes. Um, anywhere from this is probably the largest size to um, something like this. We're going to put them all into a um, plastic bag, do a little marinade on them. Okay, now we're going to put our uh, marinade in for the meat. Probably going to do for about a couple hours just to let it get a nice soak. I'm uh, going to start off with some sake. It's about two tablespoons. Um, got this new liqueur I'm looking with here. Uh, it's a Brazilian orange liqueur, uh, 03. I've been using this in the margaritas a lot and thought maybe I'd just use this to give a citrus flavor to the uh, pork. Um, anyway, I've got probably about four tablespoons here, maybe a quarter of a cup. About a tablespoon of rice wine vinegar. And two tablespoons of uh, soy sauce. A little fresh cracked black pepper. A couple of cloves of garlic. Just gonna do these kind of coarsely, smash them, a couple of chops. Very coarse. These are just going in here to marinate. Right, seal this up, give it a shake, and uh, put it in the fridge to uh, let it marinate for a bit. this into a plate and we're going to throw this into the fridge. Okay, let's make our uh, seasoning mix now. As you know, when stir frying, you really don't have time to pour stuff as you're going because this wok is going to be blistering hot. Um, so we want to have everything prepped out. First thing I like to do is get my seasoning together. Okay, we're going to do about a quarter of a cup of uh, tamari seasoning, uh, soy sauce. Yeah, maybe a little more. This is uh, naturally brewed. I don't think it has any um, preservatives or what have you. Um, do a couple of about a tablespoon or two of uh, rice wine vinegar, a couple of tablespoons of hoisin sauce. I think this is going to mix good with the orange, um, kind of a little barbecue flavor to it. Uh, a couple of, about a one tablespoon of brown sugar. And I'm uh, going to give it a little fire. I'm going to do a little sambal olek this time. I have no idea if I'm pronouncing it right, but that's the southern version. Sambal olek. Eh. a healthy bit there. And I found this in one of the Asian shops down here. It's a um, salted bamboo shoots with a, a ch uh, chili oil. Really good neat stuff. I'm going to go ahead and mix this in with the uh, seasoning blend. Eh. I have no idea how much that is, but that looks about right. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and uh, do an orange here. I think I'll start off Zest of one orange. Oh, probably easier to do it here and put it in.
And go ahead and squeeze the juice in there. I'll go ahead and use a reamer here for the second one. All right. Get this all mixed up, we'll let it set for a while, and uh, this will be our liquid at the very end of the stir fry. All right, let's uh, chop our vegetables here. Got some uh, good looking bok choy, green onions, ginger, some shrooms, and oh, got a bit of a uh, white onion over there today. Gonna keep that probably uh, simple for the vegetables, mix that with the pork, probably gonna serve with a little bit of brown rice. So let's get to chopping. Okay, um, let's see. Probably save a couple of these off for, um, for my juicer. Probably about a half inch to an inch. I like to keep it thick, that way we have a good bit of crunchiness after it's cooked. And a little bit of onion here. Uh, this is pretty large, so probably just use about half of this. And cut it kind of thin, but I'm going to do like thin ringlets. I'm going to stage my vegetables. I think I'm going to do the, um, do the onions, the ginger, and the garlic all at the same time, so I'm going to put those all in the same bowl. And a healthy amount of ginger here, I think. Peel this with a spoon. really pretty good if the ginger is fairly uh, fresh. Otherwise you can do it with a knife, vegetable peeler. But uh, this seems to work pretty good. Fairly crude matchsticks here. Yeah, it's about a tablespoon. I think that's about all I'll use. I'll put these, uh, put the rest of that ginger into a, a juicer.
like a little uh, stir fry in my garlic. And uh, I'm going to keep these fairly rustic, I think. Not many, not many problems with vampires around here. This is New Orleans, a uh, very haunted city, so, you know, you have to do your part to keep away the bloodsuckers. Take off the little rough ends at the back. And let's see. Do about three of those. Save the rest for the juicer. I like to add the green onions on right at the very end. working with such a hot wok uh, you really have no time to do anything in between besides dump and stir so I like to stage everything in order that it's going to come um, first of all you know got the onions mushrooms next we'll go the uh, uh, bok choy lastly actually I should rearrange this I'll put my sauce in and then the very last thing will be the green onions so I kind of make myself a chain to go around here and uh, when I get going, I will uh, also have a bowl over here that I'll take. I'm going to stir fry the pork, uh, throw the pork as it gets just about done into the bowl, then do all my vegetables. At the very end, add the pork back in and the last few things. I'm going to take the meat out of the marinade and uh, put it on some paper towels. Blot it really, really dry. This is going to help it uh, stir fry. I want it to stir fry instead of steam. I'm going to take the reserve marinade, uh, put it into a small pan, and heat that up to sterilize it, and use that later on for some additional flavor. Now let's talk about the wok that I have. It's a little bit unusual. It's not your typical hand-hammered stainless steel, carbon steel wok. Um, my thoughts are you just can't get those hot enough on a home stove. And I've got a gas stove, and it's just not, it's not even an industrial one. So I went for the Lodge cast iron stove. It was like 50 bucks on Amazon. Uh, it's really nice. I mean, this thing, it's probably about eh, 12 to 14 pounds. And as you can tell, it's nice here. It does have a round center like your cat, you know, your classic wok. Uh, it came pre-seasoned, which was nice, so it's easy to keep seasoned. Uh, it's got a good heavy weight to it. But if you notice on the bottom here, it's got a disc, and the, and the pictures on the website never show this to you. So you don't need a gas ring on here. It sits flat on your grill, your, your stove. And this big heavy unit here, you, uh, it will basically catch and hold a lot of heat. I take and throw this thing on the gas stove. And I fire it up on high for anywhere from 12 to 15 minutes, and I don't touch it until then. Go ahead and fire it up on high. Let this thing get smoking, smoking hot. Uh, that's another reason I was talking about earlier. You want to have everything staged and ready to go, because this wok is glowing red almost hot. But that's going to allow you to get almost the restaurant quality stir fry. 
you throw things in there, it doesn't take long. And being cast iron with that heavy, thick disc of metal on the bottom, it's going to hold that heat so that when you throw things in there, it's not going to cool it off anytime soon. So uh, anyway, if you've got a home stove, uh, electric, I suppose this will work on too. I, I don't deal with electric stoves. But at least for gas, the home stove, take a look at this cast iron thing. Now, you do have to be careful with it. It's extremely heavy. Uh, well, it's not that bad, but it's extremely heavy when this thing's you know hotter than the surface of the sun. And occasionally at the end, you want to take and get things out of here because at some point you do want it to stop quitting, especially with seafood or shrimp. You need to get this thing out, and you're going to have to one-hand it unless you have someone helping the thing in the kitchen and the spatula, what have you. So anyway, give this thing a look at. It's really nice, and I've really got some great results in it. You're going to be a little apprehensive the first time you do it because this thing is so hot and big. But uh, once you get used to it, even my mom did it, and she's <coughs> close to 70 now. So uh, anyway, take a look at this. We'll get fired up here in just a second. In fact, let's fire it up now. Ooh. And while I left that way over here. All right, well, the block is smoking hot now. And uh, always make sure, you know, you got your uh, cold beer around because once you start going, this thing has to be with an arm reach. You can't get away from it. We'll start off with a little bit of uh, peanut oil. Probably about a, yeah, three tablespoons full. Alrighty, smoking hot. We have our pork here. It's been uh, dried off. And start adding that in. Give it just a second to let it start. Um, well, let it start getting brown just a little bit on one side, just a minute or two, though. And it starts stirring. i got bamboo tools here. I really like these. See, we've already got a little bit of brown on there. Looking good. This is pork. If it was beef, I'd probably take it out now, you know, leave it a little bit medium, but with the pork, you want to make sure it gets cooked all the way through. Not much longer, but just a little bit. I've got a bowl over here. I'm going to take the meat out here as soon as it's done. Then I'll be able to get my vegetables in. And we'll add the meat back at the very end. That's uh, looking pretty good. I'm going to go ahead and get my uh, little basket tool here. All right. I'm going to add just a bare touch of oil because I think there's a little bit of liquid in there. Don't need much, just a little bit. Let that get warmed. Alrighty, got our onions, garlic, and ginger. Actually, I had done one thing here. Before I started the camera up, I'd had the uh, walk a little over 15 minutes, and I had turned the heat down a little bit. So the reason it dropped in temperature, this is not what it usually does. Um, I had turned it down to low, and if you saw me right when I put the pork in, I reached down and turned it. I just then realized I'd uh, had it not on high. So there is a little bit of a heat drop, and that was because of me, not because of the walk itself. This thing usually does not drop in temperature at all. So 
But that was just a technical difficulty with me. I'd uh, turn the heat down because I had to do a couple of things uh, in between filming the scenes. And um, I'd forgotten to turn it back on in time. Anyway, still pretty tough, pretty hot. You see, we're already getting a little color on the onions here. Oh, it smells wonderful here with the garlic and all. One thing I meant to do was get a chili out of my garden and throw in here, and I didn't do that, but like I kind of mentioned before, really no time to do things while you're stir frying. Mushrooms. The mushrooms are going to soak up a good bit of this oil here. Just a second. All right, here we go. Mushrooms are looking really nice now. Oh, it smells wonderful. Garlic, onions, and well, garlic and onions is the best thing in the world. Add a little ginger, and uh, that's just an extra slice of heaven. If you notice, the mushrooms soaked up just a little bit of oil. I'm gonna add just a touch more. All right, we've got our uh, bok choy. Yeah, I think a little red pepper out of my garden. I have some red poblanos. Added a little bit of color would have been nice, but this will be good. I'm going to go ahead and add my um, seasoning liquid in. It's going to create a little bit of steam and it'll help finish out that uh, bok choy. Cheers. Smells wonderful. See how that's wilting the bok choy down there? Oh, you can smell that orange peel. Mm. I'll tell you what, I've got that uh, marinade that I'd had. I uh, boiled it and reduced it down. I'm going to go ahead and add that in there a little bit. That's really got a nice concentrated flavor now. It's just a couple of drips. Yeah. Mm. Oh, that's good. Now again, that was that uh, marinade that we did the pork in. And uh, as I'd seen before, I uh, reduced it down. Boiled it, reduced it down, got it sterile. All right, we're going to add our pork back in. We'll just let this heat through and we'll uh, serve this over. I've got some brown rice that I'd actually cooked the other day. Um, I've got a pressure cooker for that. I've gotten to where I'm getting away from uh, white rice. The brown rice has a great flavor, good body, and it works real well, but it's usually a pain in the ass because, well, it, it takes a while to cook. Um, I've got a, I'm going to do a couple of series on pressure cooker. I've really gotten uh, into that. Um, it works great for things like that, and honestly, it may be sacrilege here in New Orleans, but I've done red beans and rice with andouille sausage in a pressure cooker and brown rice. 
and had it done in less than an hour and it tasted wonderful, whereas usually it's an all-day simmer thing. Anyway, ah, oh, smells great. I'm going to uh, cut the heat on this and we'll get ready to serve it, plate it up. All right, let's give this a little chance to breathe. Whew. All right, well, um, let me give it a taste. Like I said, I just kind of made this up on the fly, served it over some uh, brown rice. Mmm. Mmm. Interesting. I like that. The um, boy, that orange zest really comes through. Mmm. Let's go with the hoisin sauce. I didn't get quite enough uh, hot stuff on there. We'll put a little sriracha on there, but I'm a chili head. Try this at home first with a little bit less. Oh, it may be enough for you. I think maybe just a touch more soy. It's allergy season, and my nose is clogged up. So I can't smell quite as much. Mmm. Perfect. All right, well, look, thanks a lot for joining me, and uh, we'll see you next time on CWI. Cheers. Hold on. Got a guest star. There we go. Can it help? Thanks a lot.